everybody, it's Natasha and Sonia and we're back here in the North Grove kitchen after a little bit of a break and we are bringing to you burrito bowls for food and families today. So for today's recipe, what you're going to need uh, is rice, you're going to need a can of black beans, you're going to need a can of corn, today we have fresh lettuce from our garden here on the farm. We're going to need salsa, or if you don't like salsa, of course you don't have to use it, but we're gonna use salsa for our topper and some sour cream as well. We have uh, an avocado, two Romo tomatoes, some fresh parsley, salt, a clove of garlic, some lime juice, and this is a new item for me. This is chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And if folks are wondering where you can get that, uh, it's at the international food aisle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so what we're going to do for this recipe today is we're gonna make six portions of rice, which is one cup of uncooked rice. And I like to put in my rice um, before I put my water in. It's kind of a strange thing, but I don't like having rice stuck to my. So it's one cup of rice to two cups of water. I'm gonna put that in. So this only takes 10 minutes to cook. And for this recipe, you can use any type of rice that you like. So you can use brown rice like we've done today for a healthy option. You can make basmati, jasmine, People use couscous, um, what's the other thing? Quinoa. Quinoa, so those are all different options. Any type of grain for this bowl works, so really it's personal preference. And today we're just doing the brown rice. So for veggies for our burrito bowl today, we're going to dice two Romo tomatoes. So I have to admit that tomatoes are not one of my favorites. But what I've come to find out is that if I remove a little bit of the guts that I tend to like tomatoes a little bit more. So if your children tend to not like tomatoes, that might be a trick that you may want to try at home. And cutting tomatoes is also something your children can do as part of this recipe to help out. So when we've done food and families at the center, we found that maybe using a bread knife or a plastic um, cutlery knife tends to cut a tomato well for little hands and you don't really have to worry about them cutting themselves. And we're gonna keep all our veggie topping ingredients for our burrito bowl separate. All right. So for today, we're only using um, the tomato, the lettuce, the avocado, and the parsley, but really you could use any kind of uh, veggie topping that you would like. And one tomato goes a long way, so I actually think that I'm gonna leave this, because I don't wanna waste the diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna leave that like that, and then we'll move on to the avocado. Okay, so next up is our avocado. I am not an expert at, at choosing a ripe avocado, so I hope I did a good job today. We'll see when this guy cracks open. So he's looking a little firm on the inside, but I think it'll be okay. So a trick I had learned about dicing an avocado is kind of making lines this way, then going through this way, and then he should kind of open up like this, and then all your pieces will come out. So you've got your diced avocado and you just peel the skin off. I am an avocado lover, so I could eat this avocado just like an apple. Some people for the burrito bowls also choose to mash up their avocado. Both Sonia and I prefer ours diced like this. So if you feel like you're not gonna use your whole avocado, what you could do is leave uh, the seed inside, squirt a little bit of lime juice over top of your avocado and then wrap it really tightly in plastic wrap and then pop it in the fridge. So if you uh, have a avocado that's really ready to use and you're afraid that it's gonna go bad, you can dice it and put it in the freezer. You could use it for smoothies or you could just take it out and let it uh, 
thaw on its own and use it again for a burrito bowl. So no need to waste a good avocado. And there we go. So there is one whole avocado diced and ready for our burrito bowl. And last we have a little bit of parsley. So this just calls for two tablespoons of parsley, which is not a whole lot, so more of just a garnish really. So this is already washed. And then we're just gonna really finely chop this. This is also something that's not gonna make or break your recipe, so if you don't have it, that's perfectly okay. If you don't wanna buy fresh parsley, you can always buy a bag of the de dehydrated parsley and that'll work just fine. And Sonia, my timer's going off for 10 minutes for your rice. Perfect, looks good. And here we go, so there is our two tablespoons of parsley. So we're going to make the chipotle cream sauce. This was the first time I ever made it when I, we were looking for recipes. So it's a really neat recipe. Um, you can also buy the chipotle mayo sauce already pre-made. So uh, if you're not really into making your own sauce, there's lots of options at the store. And it doesn't even have to be a chipotle sauce. You can just use sour cream and salsa. You can put whatever you want on your burrito bowl. So I just want to put that out there. So we're going to start with our garlic. The nice thing is I'm going to use my little tiny food chopper. I'm gonna put my garlic in there, but if you are making it at home and you're just gonna whisk it in a bowl, finely chop your garlic just like you would. I'm going to cheat. I'm gonna put it in here and we're just gonna give it a little spin. Nice and easy. So then we're going to add, so this is actually what the um, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce look like. I don't know if you can see that there. It's kind of thick. So again, if you don't have a food processor, you can just take it and really, I would just put it on a cutting board or in a bowl and you can mash it up or cut it up. And again, your children can help measure. So we're going to put in two tablespoons. And for this sauce, so this is a really big pepper here. For this sauce, I would recommend just starting with the two tablespoons. But if you're a person who likes things spicy, because I know Natasha was saying her husband likes spicy stuff, try adding a little bit more. So you can add more garlic, you can add more peppers, whatever you want to do. So we're going to also add a one quarter teaspoon of salt. This is our lime juice. So it says freshly squeezed lime. So if you have buy the little things of lime juice, it's three tablespoons. And last but not least is your sour cream. This is what will give you that creamy goodness. So we're just gonna add a cup of sour cream, which I'm pretty sure is the whole thing of sour cream. So if you want, you don't even need to measure it, but kids like to scoop and measure. So this again is something that they can easily do with you at home. I'm just gonna add that to my little food chopper. I did try this, so I know it's not gonna explode. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put it in there. We're gonna blend it up, put the top on. So I can see the little peppers in there. They're starting to blend up and they're a little chunky. There we go. And that's, and it makes quite a bit of sauce actually. Um, so I actually made this on the weekend. I made it on uh, Friday, I think it was. And we had it on burrito bowls. And then I made tacos and we put it on our tacos. So it is, you can put it in a wrap. There's lots of different ways you can use this sauce. You can put it on a burger. Um, yeah, so that's how it looks. So that's our sauce. Now what we're going to do is we're going to assemble everything together. We'll get our black beans, our corn and everything, and then we'll make our bowls. So what we're going to do now is we're going to assemble our burrito bowl so you can see what they look like. And again, we've put it all out in this style because um, when you're cooking and uh, feeding children and eating with them, 
you want to have a variety and this allows them to choose, yeah. which is good for anybody. Yeah. yeah, and we know that children will eat uh, things, especially if they're things that they're maybe not sure about um, or something that's new to them, if they had any part in putting it together um, or getting it ready, mixing it. So this is a great way to uh, introduce something new to your children and have them kind of take part in prepping it and making their own meal. And what we've decided, what we thought would be a good idea also, is to really think about and talk about um, portion sizes. So what I might eat as an adult may be very different from what your child would like um, and eat as a child. So it's all about portion control. And then you can, like Natasha said earlier, you can kind of choose. So if you like tomatoes, you can add them. I love tomatoes, so I'm definitely adding tomatoes, avocado. And again, there's no right or wrong way to make your burrito ball. Or at least, I don't think this. <laughs> All right, I think that's right. it. Yeah, and what I was gonna say too about the lettuce is that you can have your children pick a couple pieces of lettuce, have them tear it apart. Mm. It's kind of just another fun way for them to help get their meal together. Absolutely. So this would be the contrast. So this would be a child, kind of like a child, small child size portion. Yeah, and this would be an adult. Yeah. Maybe a little more. <laughs> you really like burrito yeah. bowls. So we're glad that you have joined us today and we hope that you enjoy this recipe. We'd love to hear your feedback. So please feel free to comment uh, under the video and let us know if you tried it. And special thanks to President's Choice Children's Charities for their support of our Food and Families program. Yeah.